Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models and also the lead tutor at Trinity Learning Centre. Well, today we are going to work on this uh, PSLE 2024 problem sum involving area and perimeter of triangles and rectangles. Okay, without much further ado, let's begin. So first we underline the keywords as we should do. Okay, the keywords are this. There's a rectangular piece of paper and it is cut into two sections, X and Y. Okay, as you can see here, there is X and there is Y. They say to you that the perimeter of X is 60 cm shorter than the perimeter of Y. And they then also give you the ratio of BC to BD as 1 is to 4. And the first question is, what is the length of BD? The second question is, what is the area of Y? So how do we begin with this? Now, before I begin explaining how to do this question, I would like to explain using the diagram that I drew what is happening here. So the first thing that happens here is that this top part here is folded along the dotted line that you can see here down towards the bottom portion. So once this is folded, then what we will have is that this piece is then replaced sorry just give me a moment is then replaced by this okay so one of the pieces is then folded onto another and then they will cut this same piece out put it on top and then they will unfold it so when they unfold it, then this piece again looks like this. And there, as a result, you get this diagram that you see over here. Okay, so basically this is what is happening. Now, I'm going to erase this portion so that there's space for me to explain the question to you. Okay, let me take this away. All right. So, again, before I do the question, I'd like to explain a few things here, okay? The first thing they're telling you is that the ratio of BC to BD is 1 is to 4. So, where is BC? Well, BC is here and BD is this line plus this line because, you, as you can see here, this is C, right? So, actually, it's supposed to be one continuous line, BD. So, if this is one unit, as you can see here, and this is four units, of course, uh, we're only counting this and this as four units, then we know that this is one unit. So we label it as such. And can you tell me how many units do you think this is? Okay, if your answer was three units, then you're right, because if you take 4 minus 1, you will get 3 units here. But remember that this line and this line is actually the equivalent of the line over here. It's just that it was cut up. So if that is the case, then we know that if this is 1 and this is 3, then we also know that this is 4 units. Okay? So this is the first thing you need to understand. Second one they are telling you is that this x here, this piece x, has a perimeter that is 60 cm shorter than the perimeter over here. So basically, what we can see is that some of the lines here are repeated. Okay, so one of, what, what are the lines here that are repeated? The lines here that are repeated are this line, which is the equivalent of this line and this line which is the equivalent of this line. So basically both x and y have this part of their perimeter. This means that the difference of 60 must come from the sum or the total of this line as compared to the total of this line. But if you think further, do they share another common line? The answer is yes. The other common line that they share is 
the line over here. This line is the equivalent of this line. They are equal to each other. So, what is left? Again, the difference between x and y, if we were to eliminate all the common lines, will be this line compared to these two lines. In other words, the sum of these two lines is 60 more than this line. And as you can see for y, these two lines, A, E, and C, D, have a total of seven units. Four here, three here, whereas B, C is only one unit. And since the difference is 60, then seven units minus one unit will give you six units, which is 60. So this is how you can do the question very quickly. Okay, so now we're going to write that out. We are going to say that AE plus CD, okay, I basically took these two lines. I'm going to write it out as 4 units plus 3 units equals 7 units. And I know that this is 60 cm more than this line. So if I now take 7 units minus 1 unit, I will get 6 units, and the 6 units is 60 cm. This means that 1 unit would be 10 cm. Okay, this is how you can do a question really fast. Now that you know this is 10 cm, let's try to answer the questions. The first question is, what is the length of BD? Well, where is BD? BD is B to C and C to D. And the length of BD is 4 units, which is the same as the length of AE. So basically, finding AE and finding BD is the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to say that AE is equals to BD, okay, because they are the opposite sides of the same rectangle. And since AE is 4 units, then I'll be finding 4 units. So this is 4 units, and since 1 unit is 10, then 4 units must be 4 times 10, giving you 40 centimeters. So that's your answer for A, 40 centimeters. Next, the next question is asking you to find the area of Y. Okay, so to find the area of Y, what we need to do is we need to take the area of the whole rectangle like this. In other words, I will have to move this piece back down over here. So if I move this down, I now have a rectangle again. And I need to use the area of the rectangle and subtract away the area of this part to get the area of this part. But then, how am I going to find the area of this part? The answer is this. Since this is the corner of a rectangle, it must be 90 degrees. And since this was folded down to this, then this must also be 90 degrees. So if both are 90 degrees, then I am able to take this shape and I'm able to move this over to here. So effectively, when I move this piece over to here, I will get a shape that looks like this. Okay, so basically, I can move the piece and I will get a nice triangle where this point, let's call this um, A, B, C, D, E, let's call this F, right? Let's call this F, where F 
has moved here. And uh, once you do that, then basically X is now this shape. This is X. So I'm going to find the area of X. And to find the area of X, I'm going to take half times base times height. Then the question becomes, so what is the base? Well, if this is one unit, then so is this, because this was folded down. So they must be equal, right? These two sides must be equal. And if this is one unit, then this is one unit. And since one unit is 10, then I know that this being two units, it has to be 20. Okay, I'm going to call this shape triangle ACF. All right. So for triangle ACF, okay, I'm going to write down all the dimensions. We know the base is made up of two units, which is 2 times 10, because again, one unit is 10. That will give me 20 cm. And then, what about the height? If this is the base, then this must be the height. And we can do that because this is a right angle, right? Remember, base and height needs to be perpendicular. So these two lines are perpendicular. This can be the height, and this can be the base. So now, what is the height? The height of this triangle is the orange line the orange line and the orange line the orange line is 50 centimeters okay i think i may have missed up writing this okay so this was actually given in the question it was 50 centimeters which means that this is also 50 centimeters all right uh, i missed up typing this here my apologies but anyway let's carry on so if this is the height and the height is 50 and the base is 20 i can now find the area of x okay so i'm going to write down that the height being 50 then the area of triangle acf will be half times 20 times 50. Okay, so half times 20 times 50, we can simplify it like this. And that will give me 500 centimeters squared. Okay, 500 square centimeters. Remember, our goal is to take the area of the rectangle and subtract the way the area of x to get the area of y so what is the area of the rectangle the area of the rectangle is made up of 40 cm here okay we found that as the first part of the question 40 cm so 40 cm here 50 cm here 40 times 50 will give me the area of the rectangle length times breadth okay so now area of rectangle would be 50 times 40 to give me 2000 square centimeters and now we finish the question by taking the area of the rectangle minus the triangle so now it's 2000 this is to find area of y so it's 2,000 minus 500 to give us 1,500 cm squared. And that is the answer for part B. Okay, so that's the entire question. Okay, I hope you understood it. If not, please go back and watch this again. Okay, remember to subscribe and follow and watch all the other videos and recordings so that you can learn your math better if you are now 
about to take your PSLE or if you have just taken it, learn how this can be done as it can apply to your secondary school. Okay, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.